Thank you, Scott. I learned a lot from you at CES too on how I can get my posture right. Oh. Okay, so let's open the floor for any questions. I I see that at least around, there are around 15 people here. Uh, who wants to go first? Or I can break the ice with the uh, questions that I have on social media. Uh, no. Yeah. I think all of them are on mute, right? Is that why they are not able to hear them? Yes. So you'll have to unmute yourself and if you have a question. You can raise the hand and okay. you can unmute that. Okay. All right. I will start off with a couple of questions that I received on uh, Facebook. Okay. Then we'll see whether that breaks the ice and I will hear more questions. <laughs> okay. So what do people get when they buy the mat? What's included with the mat? Ruby, do you want to take that question? You don't can answer that one, I think, yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, when you purchase the mat, what you are getting is uh, basically the, the, the smart mat uh, that, uh, all, that also comes with, uh, you know, an, uh, we call a, re a rechargeable battery that goes into the mat and then there is a uh, there is a small case where you can um, uh, put your smartphone or a tablet right that is attached to the uh, uh, the housing of the mat right and then of course you have the yogify app which is a companion app that works along with the mat okay and also on the companion app you get about uh, 25 free programs that, along with the mat so we want you to start practicing your yoga as soon as you get the mat. So you don't need anything else once you file, buy the mat. You have the mat and you have around 25 programs that you can start practicing with. Okay, the next uh, frequently asked question is, how do you clean the mat? I think everyone knows that there are a lot of sensors in there and is it portable and how flim you know easy to carry? So you can probably uh, shed some light on that. Sure. So, uh, as you can see in the pictures also, right, uh, this is a foldable, any other yoga mat, you can pretty much fold this and take it along with you. Uh, from, uh, from a cleaning perspective, uh, like how you clean a regular yoga mat, right, you can use a wet cloth, um, you know, you can just wipe it off if there are deeper stains or marks that you want to clean. Uh, there are uh, things like, you know, mixing with the uh, 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 you know, baking powder and uh, you know baking soda and then you know just uh, put that uh, and then wipe it off with a wet cloth right so there are ways like this which is which you typically use for any regular yoga mat basically there is nothing there, there's nothing specially you need to do on this how you wipe off a regular yoga mat you can pretty much follow the same thing here okay and it is as thin as like any other yoga mat in fact i have the mat here and i can show that it isn't actually any different from a regular yoga mat, the thickness wise. Yeah. So uh, yeah, when you say regular yoga mat, there are there are different. Yes, there are traveler yoga mats which are thinner. There are you know uh, regular yoga mats which are ranging from four mm to eight mm, right? So this falls uh, within that within that range. Uh, basically, uh, it will be around you know four to five mm, um, not uh, not more than that. Yeah. <clears throat> And what makes it portable? Vinod? So we uh, what, that? what makes it portable? Like uh, can you carry it and practice it outdoors? Oh, okay. So as we as we are saying, right, it comes with a rechargeable battery, right? So you don't need to have a power a plug connected always. So you can pretty much take the mat along with you as long as you have a smartphone and the mat, you can pretty much practice anywhere, anytime, right? Be it outdoors, be it indoors, you know, wherever you go, you can carry along with you and uh, you can practice it. And it also works. And of course, go ahead. Yeah, and of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, the, the the programs are always accessible from from your uh smartphone right as long as you have the connectivity you have the programs accessible on the smartphone and all it needs is a bluetooth uh, connection between the smartphone and the mat and you know pretty much you can use that and then you can practice 
we have a question on the chat window here. Um, does it need to be charged? If yes, is it compatible with international travel? Yes, it's a rechargeable battery. So obviously when you plug it in, it will charge, right? And uh, it is uh, uh, basically the, the adapter, the power adapter for each country will be specific that we will be supplying. Uh, but within a particular country, if you want a different adapter, then you can, you know, you're free, you're free to buy, you know, your own adapter, something connected to that. But, but yes, for every country, there is a specific adapter and it comes with that. Chet, I just want to add there one point. Uh, uh, the, basically, the it is, uh, you know, the standard USB 3.0 cable that will be supplied along with the MAT. And, uh, and if anybody has their local uh, country adapters, they can just plug it in with it. Okay, I have another question. How does it know when it's in the position? Sorry, can you read? Yeah, how does it know when I'm doing the positions correctly? This question is from, I think this is the last name, Akurli. Maybe I could take that. So essentially, the Yogify mat uh, uses, uh, you know, the pressure sensor matrix on the mat. And uh, we use artificial intelligence to train various yoga postures on the mat uh, from the expert yoga trainers. And uh, pretty much you can get all the guidance because each body posture, although upper body is not in contact, uh, you know, it has a bearing on the pressure on the mat. So using the artificial intelligence algorithms that we have put together, it can pretty much guide you on the posture alignment and uh, balance and the and also we derive a lot of data in the process and also the strength and the flexibility that you are going you know going through over a period of time you know do you want to add anything there yeah i think pretty much you covered so uh, to put it simply right uh, depending on where you are putting your hands and legs and how much pressure you are applying right and how your upper body movement uh, is actually having an impact on the pressure on the mat right we took all these parameters and that is how the mat is able to recognize whether you're doing it correctly or not because the mat has been trained on all these postures right? uh, so that becomes the reference for mat uh, to understand between the correct and incorrect posture uh, uh, for for each posture <laughs> want to add one more point uh, optionally if uh, you have an apple watch uh, and of course we are also looking at few more wearables in future uh, somebody has an apple watch certain arm uh, balances and arm alignment also can be traced and we already integrated with apple watch thank you murlian vinod we have a next question from jill how long does it does each charge last? So once you charge your yeah. mat, how long does it stay? So uh, each charge lasts about four hours. Uh, so that's the uh, you know, that, that's the calculation right now. Uh, so yeah, again, it, it depends on uh, so, you know how much you are using uh, throughout your whether you're keeping it idle for uh, plugged in and keeping it idle or, or or you know unplugged and keeping it idle for some time or you're actually using it constantly practicing all the four hours so it depends on that but roughly each charge can last up to four hours yeah the active usage is four hours yeah okay on angel i think you're you guys are having great questions why don't you mute, unmute yourself and ask the questions directly? Don't uh, we actually went with WebEx so that we can have a two-way conversation? You know, Facebook Live allows only one-way conversation, so feel free to unmute yourself and ask the question. Okay. Yes. I just I hate being public. Hi guys. Um, I, I I I first encountered you. I was one of the organizers for um the the recent TTC um COVID um session COVID conference the other day. Oh. And as I was inputting all the information, I was like, oh, what is this? Anyway, um, so very cool product, very cool possibilities. I'm, of course, a tech head. Um, but I wonder how much, how, how many users have you used to populate the AI and does it keep learning from you? Exactly. Go ahead. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I can take that, Jill. First of all, hi. Uh, hi. So, uh, glad to have you here. I think we had a great session on the TransTech uh, virtual conference. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, essentially, uh, it, it gets better with uh, more people, you know, using the mat and training the mat. Uh, that's definitely the case with any artificial intelligence uh, powered systems today. And, uh, and same is the case with our uh, product. Uh, and we have actually got it trained from a lot of users and also the trainers. We went through some beta trials, uh, including within some large MNCs. Uh, so definitely, yes. Yeah. Um, and, and, so you're Viago, actually... and also we have uh, the Matt getting some frequent software updates, uh, which actually updates, you know, as and when we get more uh, uh, posters or more models, we keep updating the Matt on a regular basis. Okay, I'm glad you also explained about the um, the non the non contact position, um, which I understand is very influenced by the pressure that you put yep. on yep. that. So, yep. um, and so you'll be aggregating all of the all of the user information to make it smarter, right? That's right. So uh, we want to keep it as simple and as seamless as possible for the user. So all they have to do is roll out the mat and uh, have the app to start the program. And uh, the body posture alignment, everything will be calculated and aggregated for a period of time, yeah. Okay, super cool, thank you. Yeah, I downloaded the app, obviously don't have the mat, but I downloaded the app, so thank you. We, have, we will have a new update coming soon. Uh, just check out for the new version that is coming up uh, on May 19th. Yeah, now I'm I'm watching. I'm watching like ever since ever since I saw ever since I input your information on the back end, I've been watching. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for following us. Don, would you like to go ahead with your question? I'll unmute you. Sure. Um, I have a couple of questions. Um, one is a tech question. I have an iPhone 5S and just wondering, it's an old iPhone, wondering if the uh, the app is compatible with my current phone. I don't have any other phone. I just have a 5S. I don't have an iPad. I don't have any other devices. What's the, what, what is the OS version? It depends on that because most of the have been updated to 11.0 or plus. If you have 11.0 or plus, uh, it, it works with that. Not a problem. Any iPhone version. As long as you have an OS updated from 11.1. Um, I have version 13.4.1. Then it should be should be yeah. super cool. Okay. And my other question is, um, my husband went to CES and, and bought the mat from you guys. Because um, I'm a 37-year fitness teacher, coach, and I've been teaching yoga for about 20 years. And... Um, yeah, I've studied in India at my in Mysore in, in London, and I'm curious um, how the mat is able to ascertain the functional aspects of a yoga pose when, you know, in, in the Western yoga world, we're so focused on the aesthetic, the look, how it looks instead of how it feels in the body. So I'm curious how the mat would integrate functional aspects of you and not just the pressure on the map of the body, where is there compression in the joints, where is there tension in the muscles? Um, I'm just wondering how the mat um, can give feedback information about those aspects. Not the not how it looks, but how it feels. Joint compression, muscle tension. That's a great question, Don. Uh, thanks for asking that question. Uh, in fact, that's the whole uh, idea behind Yogi Five. It is not just about the the physical aspect, but also the functional and the healing part of it, right? So uh, definitely, uh, we are uh, you know looking at ascertaining the uh, impact on the you know the muscular anatomy uh, associated with each posture, and. Uh, Definitely, we are bringing that elements also as part of our artificial intelligence to ensure, I mean, to ascertain how that, you know, uh, is improving over a period of time and what kind of muscles are getting worked out and what is the improvement that you can see, or, you know, over a period of time for an individual, right? And uh, another thing that we are also bringing is the vitals. So, of course, this requires, uh, you know, any uh, wearable like an Apple Watch or Samsung Gear. 
if somebody has a, any of these uh, variables which can track vitals we correlate also the body vitals along with the practice so we can ascertain how uh, you know how is it improving for example like somebody with a hypertension how is his heart rate and average heart rate and heart rate variability is improving over a period of time so we correlate that but this yes lot more to go uh, we would actually be uh, uh interested if you are you know we also have yogify teacher incentive program and don if you are interested you can also get in touch with us offline to understand how you can be part of that sure i would love to um i'm fascinated by the mat i'm very curious to try it out and see what limits are um compatible with my philosophy which is less on the the you know aesthetic than on the actual function of each pose so i'm excited to talk to you guys about this in the future. Absolutely, and uh, I just want to add one more thing down here. Uh, for a teacher, right, uh, the data gives a lot more insights, actually. You know, all the data that is captured from the mat, right, it goes to our central, uh, you know, platform where there is a teacher side of the interface where teacher can actually get into the data of each posture. That is where we are trying to do all this, you know, muzzle group mapping and, you know which posture has and what kind of impact and which muscle groups that analysis can be done by the teacher looking at the data and then teacher can give specific feedback to the uh, to the practitioner okay uh, thank you don thank you vinod i think that's really helpful uh, i think we have another person join jessica would you have would you like to ask a question Okay. Um, so I'm moving on to so, another question. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, sure, like, I'm off of mute. mute can unmute. Yeah. So, there yeah. we go. <laughs> hey, no, I didn't really have a question. I watched your last live um, and loved everything um, that we were able to see with the mat. My, um, the only thing I kind of wondered about was how heavy the um, front area was and um, how quickly it syncs up with your internet when you first purchase it and set it up. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the, the weight of the mat overall uh, will be somewhere between, um, uh, I would say about uh, uh, four, to, four to five pounds. Okay. It's it's not it's not just the front end, but the overall mat, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Somewhere like that. And and by the way, uh, we we are you know currently in the process of optimizing it further. Uh, so probably by the time uh, you know the Kickstarter uh, you know orders go through and then we deliver the mat, I think we will have a little bit more optimization. Okay. Uh, but that's the uh, that's the ballpark number right now, and. Uh, uh what was the second question um the oh. internet um it needs to be oh, yeah. i'm assuming uh, hooked up to the internet yeah so the setup part is you know quite easy it is uh, it is driven from the mobile app right so mm -hmm. you you basically you turn on the mat and then you get into the mobile app and follow the initial setup instructions and uh, uh, it should not take more than uh, probably a minute or two to do the initial setup Okay. Does the mat need to be? Um, does it need to stay out um, all the time, or are you able to like roll it up and leave it? You know, oh, yeah. start away. We can actually, uh, you, know, you know, the mat is a rollable mat. Okay. So Chetra, you want to show that? Is it uh, there actually in terms yeah. of roll? Yeah. yeah. It's a rollable mat, and uh, you can pretty much carry it along with you wherever you go. Right. Uh, that whatever chat is showing is still a little bit older version. Okay, uh, you can uh, you know then it goes into a, a basically like a carry bag. You can put it in, in, inside a bag and then carry it over. So okay, it's, it's rollable and it is easily portable as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jessica. And I think um, we have few more new people who joined. Jude, is that you?
I'm sorry. <laughs> I recognized your last name, Jared. Thank you for joining us today. Do you have a question? Hi. You. I think ah, anyway. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. I, I'm, uh, I can hear I'm, you. I've got my head. So I can't touch my phone. I'm going to mute myself and listen, okay? Okay. All right. But if you have a question, please unmute yourself and ask a question. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to go on to a few other questions I received on social media. What's the warranty and what's the written policy? Yeah. So uh, there is a standard warranty of one year on the product, uh, right? And uh, of course, you can purchase extended warranty to a third party that we are working with. So like any other, uh, you know, electronic uh, gadget, right, that you purchase an extended warranty, and that option will be available for you. So that's on the warranty. Um, and what's the next question? The written policy. Yeah. So, yeah. So the, uh, uh, you know, again, you know, the written policy will also follow the, uh, you know, the standard uh, guidelines that we uh, follow on each country, right? Uh, if you are talking specifically about uh, US, then we would uh, still honor the same 90 day written policy, but it has to be, uh, you know, in, uh, in, in, a, in a good condition. Yeah. Is there a height and weight restriction on Yogify mat? Weight? There is, there is no restriction. Um, pretty much we tested with uh, people with different weights, right? Uh, right from a kid. Uh, to uh, to an adult, uh, you know, even over probably 250, probably 250 pounds. Um, uh, actually, weight is there is there's really not not much of a limitation there. Height, yes, uh, you know, uh, right now the mat, the length of the mat is about 180 centimeters, right? Uh, so if somebody is a little longer, then that probably for certain postures, you know, your uh, um, uh, your hands or legs uh, basically uh, might go off the track, not as much on the hand side, but maybe on the legs. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And uh, maybe either you or Murli can share one of the most biggest challenges you faced in with Yogify. Like, was your biggest challenge trying to keep it, uh, you know, as as uh, thin as possible, or what was uh, the challenges? One of so, uh, you know, actually, if you ask that question, then there is a laundry list, actually, right? <laughs> it's not uh, to say that you know it's not an easy product to build uh, uh, because uh, if you are keeping the mat flat, right, then probably uh, you know we would have released this product probably in a year year back itself, right? So we are trying to deliver a product that is portable, that is lightweight. It is very user friendly. Uh, people, as much as possible, uh, we want to keep it as close to the current yoga mats that people are using. So, in terms of their touch, feel, uh, you know, how they use it and how they take it around. So, so there are a lot of you know factors that has gone into in terms of making it as user friendly as possible. <clears throat> Yep, I think just to add to, you know, I think uh, one of the biggest challenges is to also when you have something like uh, a technology and yoga, uh, if you are trying to bring this together, definitely we want to make sure that authenticity part is not missing out. So we wanted to really uh, focus on bringing that experience, uh, which is very authentic and uh, keeps user engaged. So. That was one of the challenges I would like to highlight, like which we have been working. And uh, we did some trials and we got some feedback. And then when we are really ready, we want to really get into the market because we want to make sure uh, people not just have the mat and uh, they practice every day. So what is that we can bring to to make sure that they are engaged? So that's what we are, is another challenge that I would like to highlight, which we have we have worked on in the last one year. Thank you, Murli and Vinod. I know that you have a big story for that question. Um, there's one more question here on the chat. Your video showed to be being used on grass. Is it functional on uneven surfaces? Yeah. 
Murli? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. It works on any kind of surface. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Uh, that, uh, I mean, as we said, right? You, it, it can be taken outdoors, right? When we say outdoors, uh, you know, definitely, you know, you can put it on lawn, you can put it on um, any other surface, and you can practice it. Yeah, it, it, it works absolutely fine. Um, Candace, did you have anything to add on that? Yeah, we've we've used it outside and it's worked. It's worked great. Um, no issues. Okay, but basically, I was gonna say that you know, you it's not about the mat. You have to find a surface that that won't hurt your back while doing yoga. <laughs> so even like it shouldn't be extremely uneven that you're gonna hurt yourself while doing yoga. Um, okay, so is one mat sufficient for the entire family? So, yeah, so the way the mat works is it is connected to the lap, right? So, you know, as long as logging in, right, from that mobile app and connecting to the mat, so basically it is connected to your profile. So, all the data that is coming off the mat is stored in your profile under your you know, history so that way uh, you know yeah multiple people can sign in uh, within the family as long as they have different uh, you know uh, different uh, id that they use it to sign in thanks vinod back to that uh, mat does calibrate according to the user uh, of course our, our recommendation is to have separate mat for yourself so that you know uh, it's a lot more easy to you know kind of uh, uh, look at your own journey, you know, progress, and you know, it's, it, it supports multi-user. But I think we would recommend having it uh, individual. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think I missed out, Erin. Do you have any questions? I've unmuted you, Erin. If you have any question that you would like to ask our founders. No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, uh, one more question I have. Can I uh, use the app the, without the, sorry, do not go ahead. There is something on the chat. There is something on the chat. Okay. How often will new workouts be released on the app? Will meditation options be introduced? Take that, yeah. So, um, See, our endeavor is to, you know, kind of uh, uh, release more programs through the app that Matt can actually deliver. Uh, and as you can see, uh, our featured trainers actually they create more programs and they uh, release it. However, uh, we cannot really comment on, you know, what will be the frequency at this point of time. But when you get the Matt, you'll get with a preloaded 25 premium programs. Uh, and meditation, yes, uh, we are looking at meditation also as one of the uh, aspect to be included along with our app. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so whoever asks the question does answer, answer your question. Okay. Uh, the other question I have is when uh, I have trouble with the um, with the posture, get you know I'm not able to get a posture right. How do I get some external help to get that posture right? Oh, Murli, you were on mute. Go ahead. Okay, sorry. Um, so there are uh, two ways to go about it. Uh, first of all, what happens is like when you are uh, doing the posture, uh, the mat will guide you in a gentle way, and it does give a couple of retries before you move. It will move on to the next posture, and at the end of the session, you will get a kind of a summary on what are the poses, where are the areas where you can improve, along with the, some scores. Uh, and the other way is to be connect to connect with the trainers, the feature trainers that we have on our platform, uh, who also get this data. Uh, and if you are associated with any trainer, they will also review and provide some feedback and give some external support. Uh, however, I think uh, 
there will be some kind of a subscription attached to this part if you are looking for a personal trainer we know you want to add anything on that yeah that's uh, that's really much it yeah yeah if you are if, if you are using the just the mad progress of following and following feedback and looking at the uh, progress and stats by yourself yes uh, you know you can definitely do that but if you are looking for a personal trainer to review yours then that's where the subscription options are available uh, so you will get a personal trainer feedback as well Um, what languages does the app support? So currently, we support English. Uh, however, we are looking at adding more languages in future. We are looking at maybe French uh, to begin with as the next language, based on the customers we got requests from. Okay. Thank you, Murli. Uh, I think probably this is the last question I've seen on the face. Can no, I there is one more on the chat. Oh, uh, here. Will there be any sequences? Hold on. There be any sequences from the Iyengar teaching community? So uh, at this point of time, uh, answer is no. But in future, yes, we may include Iyengar sequences. Iyengar sequences are more dynamic in nature. Uh, although I'm, from a technology point of view, a mat can support. Uh, we have not trained anything at this point of time with Iyengar sequence. Today, it is basically classical Hatha Yoga and uh, Vinyasa flow. These are the sequences that we have been training. So is the uh, Yogi for Matt kid friendly? And what kind of programs? Are yeah, I think the kids will love it. It's uh, kids friendly. We are coming up with some programs for the kids as well. Uh, we recently did some uh, online virtual sessions for the kids as well. So uh, it's friendly for the kids, definitely, yes. Um, can I change the top layer of the Yogi Time Mat? Or can I customize yeah. the top layer? So, uh, so the, the default mat, right? I mean, the, uh, the mat that you receive, the out-of-the-box mat, you is something that you can use as it is, but you can also lay over a top layer on top of it, right? Depending on what um, material uh, uh, you prefer, right? You know, not everybody may like, uh, you know, uh, whether it is a natural rubber or or a polyurethane or you know, some some people may like, you know, natural cotton, right? So depending on what you prefer, you can always lay over a, a top layer on the mat, and then the, the uh, the mat will absolutely f uh, function perfectly. Uh, you know, the, there won't be any impact on uh, the the sensors or the artificial intelligence, and it will guide you perfectly. Okay. And um, Murli, would you like to say a few words on how Yogify can be your perfect companion in this COVID nineteen situation? Absolutely. I think these are. Uh... I think challenging times for everyone, and we are seeing a major uh, transformation in the way people uh, live, work, and work out, right? And uh, definitely, uh, we feel uh, with through our programs, especially that we have been, you know, uh, crafting and curating with the help of our uh, yoga trainers uh, to deal with, you know, the anxiety or depression or uh, general well-being. There are a lot of programs that we are focusing to ensure uh, we can add value, and especially in these current times. Uh, and at the same time, uh, since nobody is able to step out uh, with this situation, and everybody is very, uh, you know, cognizant about what is happening outside, they want to practice at home. And we feel Yogify can be your perfect companion. We can practice yoga at home, still be in touch with your trainer and get a class experience uh, like the way you are as if you are in the studio, right? So that's what we are trying to achieve here. Thank you, Murli. Um, and we know another question for you. I know that we face a lot of challenges with the COVID-19 situation and setting up our business operations. Would you like to share some of your work about that? Um, so 
I was saying that I know we face a lot of challenges because of our COVID-19 lockdown and setting up our business operations, right? Would you like to shed some light on that, on how we've been able to overcome the situation and how we've been able to go ahead with our uh, production? Yeah, so uh, definitely there was uh, uh, you know, some impact in terms of the delivery timelines because of the uh, supply chain and <clears throat> Uh, you know, temporary lockdown uh, of the, the, the production, right? Uh, so now, uh, you know, though we have done a lot of, uh, you know, progress on our software side, the actual manufacturing process was little delayed. Now we are back on track uh, because we identified alternate sources. We identified alternate uh, countries from where we can do the production. And uh, we have, in fact, started the work and uh, so, so it's going well now, and that's why we are confident that you know very soon we will be able to you know deliver these masks. Okay. Uh, is there a way to share your stats with your friends through the app, a social component? Yeah, thanks for asking that question. Actually, uh, community is very much part of our uh, overall product design uh, and the app. So we have an option where, you know, you can challenge yourself along with your community or with your friends and you can share the stats and encourage or motivate them. It's less of competition, but more of uh, motivation that will help uh, in the community part. So we do have that option. Okay. Does that answer your question? And maybe I think uh, Chetna, they can look for Kickstarter campaign at the time. We will release some new screens of app, which will show that element. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I thank you. And you've been there throughout the session. Can I have us name, please? I think your last name ends with early. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I don't think I have any more questions. Any closing notes from both of you? Oh, we know then, Murli. And I hope uh, everyone here has been able to check out our uh, Kickstarter rewards on our website. So we are offering the mat for one ninety nine only for the first twenty four hours. And we want everyone to get the best price that we offer. So stay tuned. We will send out reminders so that you can get that uh, first, um, the best price of one ninety nine. Uh, Murli and Vinod, I will let you close the session. Yep, I I will uh, first of all thank, or you thank you all for joining this session today, and thanks for your love and support all through. And I see a lot of people who have been following our journey as well. Uh, through various workshops that we have been doing. Uh, so all I say is let's yogi fight. Yep, yep. Thank you so much uh, you know, for all your support. And I know we have seen, uh, uh, you know, I mean, on, on, the, on the Facebook page also, there are several people, uh, uh, you know, I, don't, I'm now, I lost count also of the number. So, so we have got quite a few, uh, uh, you know, a few responses uh, in terms of, uh, you know, People really looking forward to this product, uh, and you know, we feel it really feels proud that we have been able to really gain that attention, and then you know, able to build something that is really useful, and people are really looking forward. So thanks for your support again, and uh, uh, you know, uh, expecting your support on the Kickstarter launch. Okay, thank you everyone. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Jude, did you have? Did you have a question? No, I just wanted to say I, I I bought mine and I'm looking forward to getting it. As sooner as sooner I get it, the better. Thank you very much. We Absolutely. met at uh, we met at the uh, the the last <laughs> the last public event. I think we were all at was the uh, CES. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I look forward look forward to seeing y'all again. Yes, Jared. Thank you so much. Um,
Mm -hmm. All right, then thanks everyone for joining us today. Stay tuned. We'll send out reminders yes. for May 19th. That's the date. All right. Thank you, Chitna, for organizing this. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Candace. Thanks, Scott. Bye.